What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Talk Podcast. And today, we will be talking about the Philadelphia Eagles wide receivers who are already on the team, but more importantly, Travis Fulgham. But before we get into all that, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you know when I go live or drop some content. On that note, smash the like button for your boy. I greatly appreciate it. And let's jump into today's topic, which is going to be the wide receivers, but more importantly, Travis Fulgham. We will be doing a film breakdown on this video of Travis Fulgham's best game. 152 yards, 10 catches, and a touchdown against the Pittsburgh Steelers, and his worst game prior to Alshon Jeffrey coming back, which was the first Giants game where he had one catch for eight yards. And what I want to know from you guys in the comment section, is Travis Fogum for real? Is he more of a 10 catch 152 guy or more of a one catch eight yard guy or is he somewhere in between let me know in the comment section right now but before we get into the film breakdown i just want to talk about travis fogum a little bit he did tweet out the other day that he is not worried about the offense at all and jalen regger co-signed it with quote tweets at all now I love the confidence, but I got to see it. I saw a lot from Travis Fogum before they kind of took his minutes away, took his uh, snaps away, I should say. But he did have some shaky games prior to Alshon Jeffrey coming in and really stealing his thunder. Um, was he going to bounce back? We don't know because we didn't get to see it. Um, were teams finding out about him, studying him more, giving him more attention? Kind of. But that's what good receivers do, which even if he gets that attention and doesn't have a good game, he's going to open it up for somebody else. Um, and you got to also take in that there's a whole new coaching staff in here, a new play caller. So he might even be better than what we saw last year with more playing time, um, a different scheme. I know Jalen Rager is going to be better with this scheme because it kind of gets people open. It's a yak type system. Um, I just can't wait to see it. I will say this, though. Whether Travis Fogum and Jalen Rager are good does not deter me from taking Jamar Chase if he's there. I think Penny Sewell is the best guy to take at six if he's there, and his second is Jamar Chase. There's still other great ones in Kyle Pitts, Devontae Smith, but I'm just on that route. And honestly, Penny Sewell or Jamar Chase might not be there at six, and then you might got to think defense, uh, Pitts, Devontae Smith, I don't know. But... Let's talk about Travis Fogum, and I want to play his best game and his worst game. We're going to start with the best one in Pittsburgh. Roll the tape. So let's start this off by talking about Travis Fogum's best game, and that definitely came against the Pittsburgh Steelers early in the season. So Carson Wentz is in the shotgun, changing the play up. He got a five-receiver set at his dispense. You got Travis Fogum at the top of the screen, and look at the soft coverage. Jim Schwartz would say good job to that kind of coverage, but... With that coverage, Fogum's going to run a comeback route, and because of the space, he's going to be able to just come back, get the ball. I do like how he turns up field and gets physical at the end. Love it. If you look at the replay, once again, too much space. Quick read from Carson. He's going to get up field and get the first down. On this play, you got Travis Fogum in the middle, and he's just going to run an out route, um, five, seven yards out route, and he's just going to beat his guy to the spot and use his physicality and big catch frame to catch the ball. Um, if you look at the repay, Carson Wentz is going to use the RPO and get it out of his hands quick. Big catch radius, good completion on that play. Here we got another five receiver set. Fogum at the top of the screen in the middle. It's going to run a slant, but then he's going to find out that Carson's in trouble and actually cut it back, helping his quarterback out and just being good at creating something out of nothing. Carson's about to go down. He avoids the sack, changes his route, and gets the completion. That's just looking at what's going on and taking care of your quarterback. You see that your route is kind of out of the picture because of the way uh, the quarterback's scrambling out. He's able to cut it back and get back into the picture and secure the catch. On this play, you got Travis Fogum in motion, and the safety follows him. Now, he's going to line up behind the line of scrimmage. You see him right there, and this was actually a good drawn-up play. He's just going to run a deep slant, but he's going to act like he's blocking for the run game. RPO, act like he's blocking, and then he just gets off with a free release, able to bounce off contact and just play physical. But I do like that play design. It definitely fooled the Pittsburgh Steelers. Look at the replay. Uh, RPO, after he gets in motion... And he really goes up looking like he's going to block. See ya. And he goes out, catches an easy ball, and able to bounce off and gain more yards, some yak on the play. 
Now here you got Travis Fulgham at the bottom of your screen close to the formation and he's going to see the Steelers are playing a deep zone. I think this was close to the halftime so they're playing a deep zone. He's going to run a deep out route and get in between them two defenders. Carson's going to throw a good ball to the sideline. He's just able to get in between the two Steeler defenders and catch the ball. We end up not scoring here anyways but here's the replay like I said able to just get the sweet spot in the zone catch it and go out of bounds. Here we got Travis Fogum in the slot, and the Steelers are going to come out in a cover two man formation, and he's just going to run a seam route and beat the guy covering him. Now, because they're playing cover two, you're going to see the safeties close. Carson threw an absolute dot, one of his best passes of the season, and Fogum just comes down with the strong hands. I mean, it's in between three defenders. Look at the replay. Carson drops back, sees this guy. He had trust in him all game, and a nice catch over the defender. On this play, you got Travis Fulgham at the bottom of your screen, and he's just going to run a simple out route, a deep out route, and the Steelers have good position. They play good defense. It's just one of them plays where the receiver makes the better play. We've seen a lot happen to us, but we don't see it often. He just goes up and gets the ball. The coverage is there. Carson trusts him, and he was having a game. If you look at the replay, look, he's not wide open, but he's going to get it done, and that's what we need to see more often if he gets more opportunities. Once again, Travis Fogum is at the bottom of the screen, and he's just going to run a comeback route, but it's going to tailor into the middle of the field. So he's going to use his leverage running into the middle of the field and then come back quickly and come back to the outside, which is draws his defender off, catches the ball, and is able to turn around and get some yards. If we look at the replay, I mean, again, great. I like how he's leveraging the defender by going in the middle of the field and then cut it back for the comeback route. Love it. Now we got Travis Fogum lined up to the right of Carson Wentz in the slot, and he's just going to run another out route, a deep out route, and he's just going to beat the man to the spot. Once again, not really open, but Carson trusts him, and he got that big catch radius, and he's not afraid to use it. If you look at the replay again, he's just going to go up and get the ball. He was just a better man this game, and I want to give him more opportunities to see if this is more him. Last play of the game for Travis Fogum, he's lined up in a bunch formation with Ertz and Sanders and I actually like the way this play is drawn up so Sanders is going to cut to the flats and again Travis Fulton is going to run a comeback route but with all the commotion there he gets wide open this was one of the plays that were drawn up well all the commotion wide open catches it good way to finish a monster game with a touchdown again watch the replay he's just going to come back and again a lot of attention on Sanders and Ertz and that's why it was too easy Woo! Nice. When people ask me if you want the good news first or the bad news first, I always take the good news first, not the bad news. Let's look at this horrible game against the Giants. It was not all on him. It was that he wasn't getting looked at the same. But let's take a look at it. Roll the tape again. Now let's look at the bad game. Again, Travis Fogelman is lined up at the top of the screen. He's going to run a out route you got the Giants in cover three and you're going to see that defensive end drop back underneath Travis Fogum they did it a lot this game Carson puts it out there only where Travis Fogum can get it and it's a great completion between two defenders Bradbury and a defense alignment who's not that athletic to be underneath him now on this play you got a deep in route you got an in route going against Bradbury they're in a cover two man-to-man -man concept and Bradbury gets the best of Travis Fogum on this play and because he gets them tied up at the end Carson's just going to check it down to I believe it's Greg Ward Jr. and uh it is what it is and Bradbury is low-key slept on cornerback in this league now on this play you got Travis Fogum at the bottom of your screen um he's going to run a go route this whole play was blown up because someone stepped on Carson Wentz's foot but if you look at the Giants they're playing a zone slash man concept a linebacker dropping back in coverage um, they're going to blitz some of the guys too and again he stepped on his foot so you don't really know if Fogram would have got open it is what it is now in this play you got Fogram in the middle he's going to run up the seam and the Giants are going to come out in a cover three zone uh, I'm not really sure though the guy I'm pointing at doesn't go back so maybe he mistaked it but Travis Fogel running a seam route keeps Bradbury honest and they're able to get the ball to Jalen Riger. Like I said, this wasn't one of his games, but him running that seam route, keeping James Bradbury honest, Carson Wentz is able to get it to Jalen Riger 
on the sideline. Here you got Travis Fogum at the top of your screen. He's going to run a deep comeback route. Everybody run comeback routes on this play. And the Giants are just dropping everybody back in zone and blitzing six. You can't be running these type of routes when a team is blitzing six. Uh, Carson doesn't have no time. Uh, Fogum's open at the top of the screen, but he's going to throw it at the bottom of the screen to Richard Rodgers, and that is incomplete anyways. Here, Travis Fogum's at the top of your screen. They're going to blitz again. He's open on the comeback route. No time for Carson, and he just throws it away to Richard Rodgers. On this play, you got Travis Fogum at the top of your screen, and he's going to run a quick slant. Um, he's actually going to pick Greg Ward Jr. open, but the defense played against us for the Giants is they're only blitzing three, and they're actually dropping people back in coverage while playing man. Now, again, look, Travis Fogum is open, but the pick happening creates more separation for Greg Ward Jr., Carson Wentz likes the bigger play. He's going to throw it to the sidelines only where Greg Ward Jr. can get it. But unfortunately, um, we couldn't catch it. But we did get a, a pass interference flag on this play. So good decision to get more yards, I guess. Once again, Travis Fogelman at the top of your screen. He's just going to run a go route, man-to-man -man coverage. Carson sees there's no safety over the top. Um, they're actually blitzing all them guys in the middle. The safety can't get there in time because they're playing single high. And Carson takes a shot. Now it's a little overthrown. But again... Not too much separation for Travis Fogum, but we're not asking for that. He's more of a big kind of catch radius guy. On this play, you got Travis Fogum at the bottom of the screen. Now they're going to motion Dallas Goddard. Um, not much move it. Kind of shows that it's going to be a zone play for the Giants defense. And actually, that's what they do come out in. It's a cover three zone. Now, instead of having a defensive end drop underneath Travis Fogum, they got a linebacker, someone who's more athletic. So the play comes. You're going to see the linebacker drop underneath. Uh, Carson doesn't want to force that, so he's just going to take the check down to Miles Sanders. Unfortunately, the check down is a bad pass, and we get no yards. It's an incomplete pass. Here, you can find Travis Fogum at the bottom of your screen, and this is not a route that he ran but he does get a false start penalty. Look, it's in slow motion. He moves his leg. It's very uncommon to see a wide receiver get a false start because you got to wait for the ball to be hiked. But it was one of them games. Here, we got him at the top of the screen now. And this was a two-point conversion we went for. I don't know why. Um, he's just going to try to fake in, run outside. And no separation. But again, Carson Wentz has no time. Now we got Travis Fogum close to the formation at the bottom of your screen. He's going to run a comeback route. The Giants are going to actually come out and play man-to-man -man with two safeties over top, so like a cover two look. And again, nobody gets open on this route. Um, the guy playing against Travis Fogum locks him up pretty much, and they're just going to check it down to Greg Ward Jr., but it's incomplete anyways. On this play, you got Travis Fogum at the bottom of your screen, and this is actually a great design play. Rager's going to run this uh, wheel-type route in the backfield with some motion, but the snap is low. And the second it takes for Carson Wentz to pick it up, the pump fakes behind. And what I love about this play, it would have been great. Look at Travis Fogum. He's going to act like he's blocking, and because they think it's going to Rager, he gets wide open. But again, no time for Carson Wentz to set this play up. He gets sacked immediately. Look how wide open Travis Fogum was. Now we got Travis Fogum in the slot um, close to the formation. He's going to run a deep comeback or a deep curl route um, on this play. His man is right on him, but he does create a little separation. But the other corner passes off his guy to the safety, and he's going to be coming back to sandwich Travis Fogum. The pass is a little behind, but it did hit his hands, and you can see the frustration of a horrible day. Last play of this game, you got Travis Fogelman at the top of your screen. He's going to run a deep out route, and what they've been doing on all these deep out routes was playing zone, cover three, and they're going to drop a linebacker underneath it. So again, a tight window throw for Carson. Uh, there it goes, runs the out route underneath coverage. They got a little sandwich. Carson throws this anyways, and Fogram dives for it, but just can't come down with it. It was one of them days. Well, there you got it. Travis Fogum's best game and worst game prior to Alshon Jeffrey coming. Um, again, I'm a guy who believes that Travis Fogum could be a solid piece. Um, a lot of people said he's a flash in a pan type guy. Some people believe it too. I think he has the tools. I think he has the talent, and we saw it in a couple games. The Steelers, the Niners, uh, the Ravens. Um, but we got to see more. We got to see more. And that's why this year is going to be so important. Implementing a new coaching staff. Getting all these young guys out there to play. So we know what we got going forward. Do we 
definitely need another wide receiver? Do we definitely need to part ways with some of these guys? We got to know. So, like I said, leave me all your thoughts in the comments section. I'm going to give Travis Fogum the benefit of the doubt. I think with a new scheme, healthy roster, offensive line, good quarterback play, he could be legit. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm not talking about Jamar Chase legit, but he could be legit. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section. Until next time, you guys know what time it is. We out.